What's up guys, Danielle here, NeutralSupport.net, bringing you another tool short on the docket today, Enduro's Pro Bearing Punches. Now, while I do own Enduro tools that I did pay for, Enduro provided these to me, but rest assured, I will not pull my punches. <sighs> hey, how about a nice Hawaiian punch? Sure. So the idea with these punches is that the punch itself will match the inner diameter of the bearing that you're trying to remove. So if you have a 15 millimeter internal diameter bearing in a hub or a suspension linkage, you would use the 15 millimeter punch to insert into the inner race of that bearing. You're going to be contacting only the inner race to remove. So in a lot of circumstances, if you're really wailing on this, you're probably just going to want to throw this bearing right in the trash. But if you're removing a bearing, this is a great way to do it. Don't install bearings with this. That's not what it's meant for. But do use them to remove things. Now, once you're in there, it'll keep everything square. So you don't have to worry about tilting or pushing the bearing out at a funny angle. Now, don't throw your regular punch in the garbage just yet. When you have something like a free hub body with two similar sized bearings or the same size bearings, there's a sleeve on the inside. And the bearing inner diameter is the same on both of these. So you won't be able to get a punch that can hit the inner diameter through here till you remove one of these bearings. So you have to use something to get out one side before you get out the other side. So for that, not exactly going to be a one tool process. You would still use something like a regular punch to get one side out. So if we look at this hub, you can see that it actually has an axle where the bearings are pushed in on either side. So that means that actually by tapping the axle, you will automatically be removing one of the bearings. So with the axle actually removing one of the bearings for us, it's the ideal situation to use one of these Enduro Pro punches. So with the internal diameter of the bearing on the opposite side being 20, we're gonna use the 20 millimeter punch. It actually nests in the bearing perfectly. So you can see the punch itself is actually resting directly on the inner race of the opposite side bearing. It is square to the bearing so we can't mess up and get it all crooked and it'll punch it out the other side. So here you see that we got the bearing out the other side with, with basic relative ease. The bearings came out of this really nicely so the bearing punch actually fits directly into the bearing so that there's no wiggle room. Like I said, you probably just want to replace this bearing if you've really been wailing on the inner race to get it out. It's so much easier than a regular punch. It's a beautiful thing. So these are not Enduro's flashiest tools. They're kind of in the background behind some of their fancy bearing pullers and other things that I'm sure we'll get to talk about. But I wanted to focus on them because even though they only do a few things and they're very specifically meant to do one thing, you had one job. they do that one thing perfectly. So if you have a need, you work on a lot of bearings, you work on a lot of full suspension bikes where you have to knock bearings out, you can't beat having very good purchase with a punch like this as opposed to trying to use other things. Now you might use their bearing extractor, their other tools to get the stuff out. Enduro makes a whole big lineup of stuff. They make a whole arsenal of stuff you can use to install and remove bearings. These punches just fill like a razor thin gap in the lineup of tools filling in to do one thing incredibly well that other tools just don't quite get. So if in your daily life you encounter this situation all the time, then get a set of these punches. If you're just looking for something that does everything, buy something else first. For the mechanic who has it all, these are an excellent addition to your toolbox. For the lady and gentleman who has everything, Thank you for watching this tool short. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, go ahead and like the video. Comment below if you think that I missed something. Subscribe to the channel if you want to see more. Head over to neutralsupport.net to check out some cool stuff. Hope you guys have a good day.